Hello, welcome to Inner GPS Gurus. What is an ego? What are the problems caused by being an ego? How to avoid ego, ego clashes? Ego is a separate identity created in you by your mind by believing that you are someone. That someone created in you has certain traits, a list of traits where there is everything in a fantasy world which is not true. The mind assumes you to be someone. creates an imaginary character with specific characteristics, with specific roles, with specific behavior patterns. When you start believing that to be true, you start behaving externally the same way. This is about your mind making you something which you are not. Similarly, you accept all the information collected from outside the minds of others as true. All this, all this information keeps becoming your character over a period of time. You start believing in those information about you from the external world, from the people whom you meet from your childhood till today. Everyone has an opinion about you and you start believing these opinion, opinions to be your, your identity. Ego is like a character of the movie playing different roles. Playing different emotions. Playing different actions in the movie. Likewise, when you assume yourself as that character, you start playing different roles in your life similar to the character of a movie. You play the role of a son or daughter, brother or sister, husband or wife, friends, relatives of someone. In job, you start playing the role of a you start playing the role of an employee. You feel yourself as the servant based on the conditioning and beliefs you have about that identity. When you create an ego, you define everything for it. Not only you define the roles played by that ego or character, you also define the way he will behave in different situations. The responses in life are no more responses naturally. These responses become reactions because the ego gets hurt too soon. The bigger the ego, the hurt, the more is the hurt. If you believe yourself to be someone and others do not treat you, that way, you feel hurt. Who is feeling that hurt? The character is feeling that hurt. If I say that you are a joker, you do not become joker if you are not. In fact, you are nothing at the center. At the center, you are consciousness 
ever existing ever present infinite source of energy but you are identifying yourself as an ego to be someone to be a personality with image identification and you become image conscious forgetting your real nature as a consciousness is this your fault to become an ego no because you as a human being come with a carried forward mind from the past birth births and due to due to that mind you believe yourself to be a limited human being with limited potential if you are born in an hilly region you will assume yourself to be limited by the terrain in which you are born if you are born in a country near to the equator you will feel limited compared to the people in developed countries who are progressing well in their life this is your belief system there is no rule given by this existence for you to express in this world the very existence of ego makes you limited and it is harmful for you over a longer period of time if you assume yourself to be an ego then your life becomes limited your expression becomes limited you cannot express fully as a human being you cannot know your potential as a human being and you feel that you are having problems in your life you are the only one who is having problems people with higher ego cannot operate well in this world if you have bigger ego then you will find yourself always in argumentative energy with other people there is always feeling of inferior or superior for ego ego is the demon in you which is killing you drop by drop without your permission there are many layers of ego in you in some life in some lives you were kings in some lives you were beggars all these imprints are in your subtle body in the form of your mind and those get reflected through different emotional energies in the form of anger suppression fear doubt jealousy inferiority blame shame sadness grief and all these components are weapons for the ego to fight to argue with the other person the first thing which you must do right now is to identify your areas of limiting self where you feel limited due to the image you have created i can help you remove your ego and connect to your inner energy your original source you the consciousness by working with you for you by reading your inner gps i will get to know which areas of your life 
needs attention which roles you need to shade off and how to become an individual who will work from that individuality not from that personality the false personality the fictitious i which you have created in yourself ego is the biggest obstacle to spiritual development and the development of a human being on basic level as well if you are working in a big organization and you have a leadership role your ego will not allow you to progress ahead in your life because that role itself will become a jail for you it will create limitations for you to learn new things to grow as a human being to evolve in your spiritual journey to know the secrets of highest happiness because your ego won't allow to meet a master your ego won't allow you to learn from him or her your ego won't allow you to shade off the unnecessary information you, which you have collected in the form of knowledge because ego will not accept that all that you have collected so far needs to be unlearned only then you can remain in harmony with yourself and also with the people around you ego clashes happens happen because all of you feel that you are someone and no one is surrendering to anyone because that surrendering will limit you as an ego when you go to a master your ego has no meaning to a master in fact dropping of the ego is the prerequisite to know yourself there are deeper dimensions for removing your ego permanently it is an inner energy work which happens at different levels of cleansing your system if you are going through kundalini awakening then ego is the major hurdle in allowing the kundalini to complete it, its journey whether you are in this world operating function functioning as a professional or on personal level you have built an ego limiting you for personal guidance on this for personal coaching connect to me ask questions share your state i will help you to remove this extra layer this extra mask and be yourself more vibrant and true to your inner being thank you so much stay tuned